Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. So that's what I have. At the bottom of the deck here is actually the Eight of Cups. So it's very much what I'm saying right now. And the Five of Swords. So with the Five of Swords and the Eight of Cups being here as I split the deck, this just lets me know that um, it's time out to stop focusing so much on unwise choices or decisions that you made or that you feel that someone in your life has made underneath the five of swords is actually the seven of swords so this is a need to walk away from um beating yourself up about something that you could have done in the past that doesn't serve your greatest and highest good and it's also time to forgive people from your past who have possibly done something you know that was not um so you 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 know I, I'm seeing so many different things. <laughs> Mercury is retrograde. My speech and tongue has been giving me problems for like the last two weeks. <laughs> but seriously, um, the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords. There is definitely some type of situation here, and I see this is the Devil card, the Ego card here. The Six of Cups and the Three of Wands. Some of you, you are honestly just expecting the worst. You're you're anticipating something tumultuous to happen. Um, and, and I've been saying this just because we're in Mercury retrograde doesn't mean that it has to be the, the worst. Let's try not to focus on the worst case scenario every single time. The Three of Wands is here, which is saying that there is something coming in. And then you have the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups can definitely speak of a friend, family member, a soulmate, someone from the past, something from childhood. It could be an old memory. Okay, but there is a lot of nostalgic energy because, again, we have like four or five different planets that are in retrograde right now. Um, Venus and Mercury are both in retrograde. Ret Venus, well, Mercury went retrograde officially just a few days ago. So some people, you're really, really going to be feeling a lot of nostalgia, a lot of deja vu. Um, in your mind, you're going to be thinking a lot about things from the past. But I feel strongly here like it's important for you not to give too much power and control to these old situations, um, old people, or just a, a particular mindset. For some of you, wow, here's the two of cups, the world. And then you have the two of wands with the lovers here and the eight of swords. So for some of you, this constant, this constant battle being at a crossroads between two different paths or two different people. I feel like right now it's time for you to really have that wake up call and realize that you need to cut something out of your life or someone. Um, if you don't do it, I feel strongly like the divine is going to come in and do it for you. Somebody here has just been at a crossroads for far too long about a particular person a relationship, a situation. It doesn't have to be a romantic partner. You could constantly be going back and forth about whether or not you should continue to deal with a friend, a family member, a lover, a job, whatever the situation is. It's something that keeps you feeling like you are trapped. It, this illusion of being trapped or confused, it's just that it's an illusion. The two of wands is saying that it's time now for you to take the next steps and you don't need to focus anymore on what went wrong. Whatever went wrong, it went wrong. If there, if you've been denied of something, if you've been betrayed, if you've been deceived, I'm not trying to minimize how you feel, but it's time now to still make sure that you are putting yourself in a position to, to be victorious and successful because whatever has happened has happened. Um, There's a lot of illusions here though. Eight of swords, seven of swords, five of swords. This is all the mind. It's communication, Okay. Um, and then with the devil card here, this is ego. The ego ki kicks in, of course, when you are afraid, perhaps, of some type of truth. And that type of fear will lead to you having unhealthy habits, un you know, just um, an unhealthy thought process in, about a situation. Some of you, honestly, you're not thinking... In the most optimistic positive way when it comes to your relationships a lot of you are obsessively thinking about partnership but there's a blockage here there's a blockage because there's the seven of swords is here with the world you're still trying to wrap up a cycle where you feel like you've been betrayed where something took away um 
your ability to to be at peace about your decision making and the people that are around you and spirit is saying now it's just time it's time to move on the eight of cups and underneath that is the transformation card which will be the death card underneath that here is the five of cups and then the four of swords this is a clear message here it is it's time for you to get up it's time for you to move forward it's time for you to make some type of lifestyle change it's time for you to understand how powerful you are it's time to release the procrastination it's time to let go of these old thought patterns or belief systems okay um if you're hanging around people that are speaking the certain word they're doing certain things and it's not actually helping you to grow and to progress it's just time to walk away from the situation but focusing on the negative spirit is saying truly with the four of swords it's time for you to rest to retreat and to fully heal some of you, you're not as badly as you want something in your life. You're not ready for it quite yet because you're still in. It's like you're still mourning something. You, you still haven't fully accepted a situation. The Knight of Pentacles is here with the Ten of Swords. Yeah, this Knight of Pentacles is like I feel somebody here is really dragging their feet with going towards wish fulfillment. With going towards getting the Ace of Pentacles, having like a breakthrough in your security and your overall just happiness and abundance because you, you can't get over some type of betrayal. If this isn't you, this is someone in your life. If you feel like a situation is at a standstill with a friend, family member, a lover, it's because somebody, they, they just don't know how to heal. Somebody has yet to go within and actually understand why they are still in this very... um stoic like personality somebody here is just like closing their heart off they don't want to see anything good they don't want to hear about love they don't want to talk about love they don't want to see the light this is somebody who is very fragile right now someone's ego has for sure been i i, I guess like i i don't want to say it's an ego death but i feel that this energy is leading to an ego death because someone is feeling very fragile about a situation. Could be a feminine or a masculine. It doesn't really matter. But until someone goes through this transformative process of letting go, someone's blessings and abundance is on hold. And this is so interesting because here is the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Here's the Nine of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Hmm. Okay, so what this is telling me is now looking here with the lovers, the two of cups and all of this split energy, somebody here has a choice between going towards something that brings um, like abundance that's worldly versus something that is like spiritual abundance. And this it's time now for someone to move in a different direction with the fool and the wheel. It's a turning point. It's something new here. It's a positive shift or change that's happening, but someone has to be able to put their fears aside. Yeah, and drop the, the baggage here. So we could be talking about a masculine for sure because the emperor is here and the star. So someone here is ready to work very hard to have wish fulfillment. Seven of wow, seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles, and then the ten of wands. Somebody is working themselves to the bone right now. Wise counsel is some somebody really, really, really wants something good in their life, but you have the moon and the chariot here, the five of pentacles. But it's something, some type of inner child wounding or a secret, um, some type of unaddressed. emotions or something here that still has a person somebody is manifesting negativity because it's something that they're not addressing and i feel strongly what, what i really get here is to be perfectly honest here's the king of cups and the knight of cups so whoever this masculine energy is this person is torn between this queen of pentacles nine of pentacles the nine of cups and the queen of cups but the person this person is taking action now Towards the Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups, because obviously that's a match. The King and Queen of Cups. This person wants to take an offer 
because they see this queen of cups most likely as wish fulfillment however this person still i feel has some type of um issues obstacles challenges hidden um emotions about this queen of pentacles nine of pentacles mm -hmm. the, this person now wants to go this person is going through an awakening judgment and they're wanting to go towards the direction where God wants them to be, which God is saying, well, build, seek and build my kingdom, meaning it's not about anything superficial. It's not about the money. It's not so much about how a person looks. It's about you actually being able to tap into like your, your true, like authentic self. Like who, who are you? at your core and this person right now is not fully opening themselves up to love because of whatever has happened with the queen of pentacles nine of pentacles it looks like this person is right now though trying to release this baggage because they actually do the emperor this person actually wants wish fulfillment somebody here actually wants a family they they want their life to be organized they want to be respected they want to be a leader this person is trying to have faith in the future, but again, until they actually let go, it's, it's, it's not so much just letting go. Somebody here needs to be honest with themselves about the fact that they went wrong. And I recently just did a reading about this. It may have been yesterday where I was talking about holy matrimony. It's like a, a man out here is what well, was really like jaded i feel and and taken advantage of by like this jezebel energy but this person still doesn't want to admit that because of some kind of outdated beliefs that they have or the fact that they were in their ego when they met this person that that is the reason why they've gone through things it's going to be very hard for this person to actually have this connection with the queen of cups someone who's very intuitive who can really help them until they take full accountability for what they've done. This, this person is in for some type of shock. And I feel like if you're the divine feminine right now, spirit is saying you need to stand your ground. Don't allow this person to juggle you because right now the three of swords, because they're still heartbroken. They're still holding on to a situation. This person may not be in another situation for every, for some of you. It's a third party situation, but for some of you, somebody is still just carrying like the emotional baggage from another situation. And then here are the five of wands It's causing conflict. Yeah, this person, when this person was in this energy of the king of pentacles with the queen of pentacles, not the pentacles, when they were in this more so superficial relationship, um, there was a lot of conflict, five of wands. And I mean, take it how it resonates, but yeah, it's like this person I feel like this queen of pentacles, somebody, somebody was very much convinced that like they were going to be honestly like a power couple with somebody. I feel like this, somebody here was for sure standing up for themselves, but very guarded, very protected. The queen of swords, this is someone who, you know, if not in the best energy can actually be cold, you know, distant, mean, angry. Um, this masculine was juggling or this masculine was trying to maintain a situation with someone here, even though it, it the three of swords, even though like they weren't really in this emotionally. And then now this person wants to go towards an emotionally fulfilling connection, but they're still hanging on to this situation in their subconscious mind somebody here is afraid of being rejected left out in the cold or they feel like by getting into a relationship they're going to lose i feel like somebody here they put a lot into a relationship for sure put their faith and their trust in someone 
And then when it went wrong, this person is very afraid now to take another loss like this. Yeah, but the Ace of Cups is here and the Ten of Cups. Wow. The Three of Pentacles. This partnership. There's an ending here. Release. An ending that leads to a new beginning. But somebody has to let go of a person or a situation that's holding them back and allow themselves to go through a spiritual transformation so that they can actually start doing what they love with people who they actually enjoy being around. People who they can have a happy, successful partnership with. This doesn't have to be love. It can be career, finances, whatever it is. But there's like a brand new emotional connection here so it's it's definitely time for someone to find balance okay the balance card here this um sagittarius energy king of wands and the ace of wands all fire okay so someone is going to be motivated and passionate about making an offer or receiving and accepting an offer for them to move towards victory and success after being stuck at a crossroads. There's a breakthrough happening here. It just seems like though this is one of those situations. You just kind of have to let it unfold naturally to be perfectly honest. Somebody is taking this time right now to heal. I, I don't. I, to me it doesn't feel like a situation where someone is really juggling two people. It feels like someone is going towards a new person or an opportunity but their past hurt is weighing them down but if this is someone who is not quite tapped in they don't recognize that they're sabotaging themselves this is someone who is still in their ego they don't recognize their own self-sabotaging like behavior So let's see. Yeah, here you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Balance card again. Just like I said before, this person. Somebody did a lot to try to balance out a situation, possibly with a Queen of Pentacles. Now, Queen of Pentacles could be Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, but they could just have that highly aspected in their chart. They could be any, any sign. But someone here was really trying to do a lot to balance this out. Or this Queen of Pentacles did a lot to try to balance the situation out with a masculine. And it still just did not work. The Six of Wands here. Um, let me see something. For a lot of you, this is some type of love situation. Somebody was doing a lot to get the outcome that they wanted in a connection, but it's, it just didn't work. This Queen of Pentacles. This Queen of Pentacles, and it definitely could be a fire sign masculine. Somebody here, I feel, was trying to offer up money or they tried to get some bait someone in. Yeah, look, Page of Swords, Nine of Swords by offering a business opportunity or something like that in hopes that it would give them the outcome that they wanted. This really feels to me, to be perfectly honest, like somebody was willing to um, somebody was willing to pretty much like carry a relationship and I'm getting more of like a feminine energy. Somebody was willing to carry someone because they wanted something from this person. So somebody was willing to, it was like they were bartering. They didn't say this, but it's, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of manipulation that can go undetected for someone that's not spiritually a, a wise and aware or the type of person who does who's lacking self-awareness it's like somebody was trying to bait somebody in with how they presented themselves or with money something very superficial and it's like it got somebody in but they later realized that it couldn't keep a person 
Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles could definitely be someone who has a business. Um, they're easy to talk to. They come off as very humble, you know, really, really nice. But the Queen of Pentacles in a low vibrational energy could be somebody who is uh, vengeful. Like they are quick to steal things, um, egotistical, superficial, like that type of energy. I feel like somebody here was hiding who they really were for a long time from someone. And again, they baited this person in. Could be male or female, take care of it. Somebody was baited in because they used what they had as far as on the exterior to get somebody in. And they got the person and now somebody is going through an awakening and they're like, yeah, you know, I see like you kind of got me in with this, but it doesn't really matter. It's definitely a very superficial like energy here. Somebody really pulled somebody in because of money. And it's like now that the, the dates and the money and all of that has gotten old, somebody is like, okay, so this was nice for you to be eye candy, but where's the soul food? Like, this is doing nothing for me. The six of swords here and the star. Somebody now wants to go towards true happiness, true wish fulfillment. Wow, the magician. And they're manifesting this. Six of Swords, the star, and the magician. Somebody is going towards, like I've been saying a lot lately, like their North Node, their life purpose, their soul purpose, divine. And this has left somebody out in the cold, nine of wands. Somebody is left out in the cold now, and they possibly are looking into someone's life or their future because they see, yeah, that somebody here is going through a transformation where they're going to actually have the ultimate wish fulfillment, Ten of Pentacles. So this is giving very much like, yeah, eight of wands, the chariot. Somebody is not happy that they invested a lot in a person or a connection, a job or whatever. And they were not the final choice is what I'm getting. Somebody doesn't like that. And you know, that that's, I'll be honest, that's a natural emotion, but you should never give or do things in a, in a from a place of control and manipulation, thinking that, oh, just because you give, you're going to receive what you want out of a situation. That's where everyone goes wrong. And we've all been there before. You know, you don't always get out of that situation what you want. Your, your blessing may be in another situation, but it's all about the intention. Somebody didn't have good intentions when they were giving or giving in to a situation. This is like someone, they're just not being themselves because they're thinking, well, if I be quiet, this person will like me. Or if, I, if I'm if i just somebody other than who I actually am, this person is going to like me. They're going to adore me. I'm going to keep them. Um, that's, that's coming from a place of low self-esteem and a lack of self-worth. So I'm not trying to say anything bad like, oh, this is a karmic because even divine feminists have been in a lower vibration before. So I'm not trying to speak ill of anyone, but this is a situation that is going to lead to a spiritual transformation. Someone is going to have to learn that you can't go into a situation trying to manipulate someone with money, sex, or anything else in hopes of getting them to stay. I feel like somebody here could have, especially with the Ten of Pentacles out here in the sun, somebody could actually be married and could have children. And they thought that because of how this connection or this relationship, how it looked to friends, family, the community, and whomever, that that meant that it was going to be forever. And it's not because someone is now manifesting something new. Yeah, the tower. Somebody's like, yeah, no, I don't really want to do this anymore because somebody's going through an awakening now. The eye candy, it's not enough. And this could be a, this could be a, a, a feminine energy. This could be a woman saying, you know, having this, this person who makes money or whatever, this just not enough anymore. I need someone to feed my soul. It doesn't matter if it's a male or female. Somebody is going through an awakening and they're realizing that they built a, a, a life, a lifestyle or a connection with someone. And it was, yeah, the queen of swords. It's unstable now that they're going through an awakening. 
Also, too, if, if this, you know, is someone now, the Queen of Swords here with the Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands, somebody could be realizing as they are being presented with more than one option, someone from their past could be trying to come in. I don't know. Is somebody in this reading right now that is really trying to buy someone's love and affection? And somebody is just like, no, I don't want that. I just, I don't want it. I feel for sure, looking at these cards, you have a feminine out here that is really manifesting wish fulfillment after closing out some type of karmic cycle where it could have been like a third party situation. There's a masculine that's not really showing up too much, but somebody is truly man. They're just like, whatever this way of life is, they don't want it anymore. This superficial life, this based on a lot of like outdated beliefs of mine is like no no thank you the world is over the cycle is just over it's complete somebody's like yeah i learned what i need to learn here it was cute it was fun thanks for the memories but knight of pentacles somebody is willing to start completely over somebody is creating like an exit plan or strategy from some kind of long-term commitment or a marriage they just don't want this anymore somebody wants to be happy I feel like this is not a happy home. It looks like this is a situation where to everyone else, it looks like the perfect relationship, but someone feels like they're in prison. They're like somebody feels trapped in a marriage and they just want out of it. That's what I'm really getting here. It's a very honestly like a specific direct message. Yeah, I feel like this is this is a, a couple who was known, I feel, by a lot of people. Page of Swords, these people could have had like a really big, like a, a um, extravagant like proposal or marriage or something like that. And this person, they feel bad that they want out, whether it's the man or the woman, whoever, somebody, they feel bad because they want out and they're constantly thinking, well, what are people going to say? I feel like somebody is finally getting to, they're like, I, they don't care because somebody feels like they are living a lie, like they're in prison being in this connection. Somebody does not even like being at home with their own kids. Wow. The hangman. But the hangman here is in the reverse. Somebody here is not willing to leave because of a family. Yeah, ten of cups, five of cups. Somebody here is not willing to leave because of a family. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. They could have a business together. Somebody here is like, we've built too much. They don't want to leave. The hangman in the reverse is someone who is choosing not to awaken. They're someone who is completely in their ego, who does not want to make a sacrifice. And then the Five of Cups, somebody's like, please just let me out of this. This feels too like somebody could possibly be going through a separation or a divorce. Somebody is refusing to sign the papers. They're like, no. Somebody, this is religious. Um, I don't want to say religious. I'm just going to say it's like outdated beliefs, but somebody here could be very religious. It's like, no, somebody is saying they don't believe in divorce. They can't separate because of the kids or whatever the case is. They're not letting this go. Ace of Cups. Wow. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Five of Cups and the Hangman in the reverse. But I'm telling you, Somebody here is choosing to walk away. It may be hard, but this hangman in the reverse, looking at the surrounding energy, somebody is about to finally embrace the idea of like, okay, yeah, I need to leave something behind. So this whole marriage situation could actually, or long-term commitment could have been something that was in someone's back, like their past. And again, someone is afraid to start over because they're like, well, I don't want to have to go through what I went through before. Or maybe someone wants, they're concerned about getting married again because they've gone through a divorce or something like that. It's something. But spirit is making it very clear. Like you're going to have to release this fear of starting over. Somebody is very afraid to start over because of what they built already and possibly what they've lost as well 
But this is this is causing someone to live in a mental prison. It's like someone is manifesting this life, but then they always tend to go back to how something in the past was blocked or they were rejected. Something called like caused them to be cold, detached. Someone is worried about what people may think if they divorce or maybe someone went through like feeling a bit, you know, of shame because they went through a divorce. They chose to walk away from a marriage or a situation, especially if children were involved. This is either someone's past or someone's current thoughts. Whatever it is, though, it's keeping someone. They're, they're thinking from a place of ego. Somebody needs to stop thinking so much about their financial situation when it comes to their personal happiness. That's the problem here. Somebody is miserable, but they, they constantly think about the devil and the nine of pentacles. Somebody is obsessed with pentacles, their money, their material well-being, like what they've lost or what they could possibly lose. But it feels too like there is possibly a masculine out here that's like, I don't really want to have to do this, but they're willing to do it. However, the feminine here is very concerned about finances. Eight of Cups, yeah. And here she is. Yeah. The Queen of Pentacles. I said that somebody keeps trying to balance the situation out. I can't tell who I feel like both people here have done everything that they could to try to have success in this connection and it's still just it's not working. It seems like when one person is unhappy, the other this is two people who just can't seem to get on the same page. Yeah. Ace of Swords. There's the communication here is off. But the masculine is having this awakening and a breakthrough. This masculine, the Emperor King of Pentacles, this person, I feel like this person is opening up to new love. This person has met somebody. And they've met a divine feminine. They just kind of stampeded in their life out of nowhere. While they were going through a lot with someone else. P possibly a divorce. Somebody here has kids and everything. And they're just like this. This is too much. They're, wow. There you have it. Someone's making a final judgment to take a leap of faith and go ahead and file for a divorce. Move out or something. And the high priestess is here. The high priestess, the divine feminine, the two of cups. Somebody is going towards a divine feminine. They can't stop fantasizing, dreaming about this person. Somebody is, is like, you know, I've been fighting for this marriage or this connection because of the kids. But this masculine here who at some point, the hangman in the reverse, who was just arrogant, selfish in their ego, unwilling to let go. This person is now having some type of um, breakthrough. And they're getting their affairs in order because they're saying, listen, we keep on fussing, fighting, arguing. And I'll be honest, this masculine, I'm hearing this person say, I'm constantly thinking about stepping out anyway. I might as well just go ahead and leave. But this masculine, I'm hearing, it's like this masculine has met somebody. They didn't go looking for love. Love just kind of found them. Or this is what's going to happen in the future if they haven't already met this person because they're meeting someone that is very spiritual. They're meeting someone. I feel like they're destined to meet this person and going back to the original spread. It was a king. It was a queen and king of Pentacles with all of the conflict and then came in the queen of cups. The queen of cups, the high priestess, the empress. This is someone that's going to challenge someone to really act from a, out of a place of love. It's a spiritual connection that someone is choosing to pursue. But in order to pursue it, they're going to have to separate from this illusion, the magic spell work or whatever. Somebody here has been in a connection with someone that has done a lot of 
spell work and manipulation. And both of these people that's in this long term connection or marriage, they've done things to one another. They're, they're both guilty of manipulating one another. That's the truth. Whoever this feminine is, they're all about the money. They, they, they're willing to stay unhappy as long as they make money. That's what these two people, that's the problem here. For them, it was all about the money. But somebody is realizing that they're like, this is an unbearable situation. Somebody's like, it's not enough money in the world to keep me here. Wow. Yeah, three of swords. I don't think, I don't really think that um, this situation can be saved. And because somebody is, is thinking so much now about this divine feminine or this divine masculine, if you notice now, we have the emperor and the empress out here together. This masculine is in this king of pentacles energy where they're um, focused, of course, on pentacles. This divine feminine is a very free spirited person. It's like someone is like, wow, there's a breath of fresh air, but it's not. Someone is inspiring a person to make sacrifices because of the free spirited nature of this divine feminine. This masculine is like, hmm. Maybe, maybe I should take a leap of faith and I'll, I'll end up landing on my feet and I'll actually be happy. This is the kind of connection though, that most people, yeah, will frown upon. People don't encourage people to, to go after being happy. Society will tell people who are extremely unhappy, stay together because of your finances, your family, your kids, and, and everybody at the church stay together. Somebody here is saying, no, the tower. They're like, I, I can't stay here. Six of six of ones, eight of ones. Yeah. Somebody's like, I have this person wants to go. This masculine wants to go. And I feel like they, it's like this person wants to go towards happiness Elsewhere, they could either know this divine feminine or they're destined to meet somebody else. The moon card. Yeah. The moon, the five of wands and the queen of wands. This energy that's in this masculine's life right now, it's just too much conflict. And it's all about the kids. Somebody's like, let's just, just take a break. Again, this person, two of swords. The two of swords and the lovers. Somebody here, I feel strong this person has already met somebody. All they can think, they're like, that free-spirited, divine, feminine, or masculine, or whomever, that person is always very comfortable. They always have good fortune. Um, they're such a positive being. Like, this person, like, they're just looking at the energy of a situation. And they're like, wow, this person is now realizing that by being with this other person, it created some kind of stronghold and blocked them from going towards this Queen of Cups. King of Swords, Ace of Wands. So somebody is wanting to call judgment on the situation so that they can have equal give and take. But let me say this. And I'm going to clear these cards up. For some of you, this is energy, you guys. All right. Let me tell you about energy. Just a tip for people, whether you're new to tarot or not. We can channel energies like this, but it's still all about the action. Um, for some reason, spirit was just like, no, cut it. Because let me say this. This could very well, especially with this retrograde energy, this could be the thoughts of this masculine. But until this person comes towards like leaves this situation it's nothing but thoughts tarot we pick up thoughts and we, we pick up situations but everyone has free will you will not know how serious a person is about leaving a situation behind and pursuing you until they actually do it this could very well be a masculine that's just sitting around right now kind of reflecting um like i said uranus in retrograde somebody is realizing 
something about the sacrifices that they made and they didn't get what they wanted out of it or they see that they need to make a sacrifice to get something that they want. But until this person actually follows through with the things that are coming to mind, until they actually withdraw from a situation, it's nothing but the thoughts. This feels to me like a situation where somebody is always saying that they're going to leave someone behind, but it's like every time they treat, they try to leave, something keeps pulling them back. Someone here is very afraid of leaving because of friends, family, and finances. This person thinks about a divine feminine constantly or divine masculine, but it's just a thought. It, it, I'm assuming that this person is just stuck in regret because I still don't see them moving i still don't see this person going towards this situation so we have the fate card here and eternal love collaboration hesitation somebody could be watching a lot of readings they could even be um doing manifestation work or even some type of magic this could be love love spells hoping to like manifest someone in their life but there's a decision that has to be made. And it's like somebody, no matter how much they, they, they think about this situation, how can you be doing love magic, but you still won't make a decision? But I don't know, adventure. Someone may want to travel and go towards somebody, but you guys be very discerning. Okay. Yeah, somebody desires to travel and to go towards a person. But it's a desire. I, 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 I'm not getting action. I'm just getting regret and desire. You know, somebody wakes up like it's giving very much the one who got away. And somebody just, they can't stop thinking about this person. Mercury retrograde, if someone reflects over their life, they're always thinking, yeah, look homeless. This person feels like a failure because they didn't choose someone else. Somebody literally is mad. <laughs> Robbery. For, somebody is angry about an ending. So I don't know if someone is ending something, but you have withdrawal aid. The mask is off. Spiritual bully. Somebody is saying the truth about someone that they committed themselves to. This, this feels like someone is realizing that they got with somebody that was all about money and that was it the mask is off because the mask card is in the reverse and compromise somebody here is in between two people and whoever they chose talked really really bad most likely about them going towards someone especially if someone is aware of a divine feminine or masculine someone tried to convince a person hey you shouldn't be with that individual i feel like there was a lot of guilt tripping okay i was here to help you this is somebody that's like, you know, I was I was here from the beginning. I helped you do this. I helped you do that. And remember, I spoke about that before a few minutes ago. Someone is trying to use whatever they did to help someone to keep them bound. I'm seeing this very clearly. There could have been a masculine who needed help at some point. They were with a feminine that could have helped them, could have come to their aid and helped them. Okay. That person, though, now that the masculine is wanting to leave behind, leave the situation, this person is showing how angry they can be. This person, for somebody here, there is a feminine that has even went so far as to do like a police report or something saying that someone has stolen something from them. Someone has been kicked off of like a lease of an apartment. Somebody here has just like lost it because somebody wants to leave. And this person is not able to live this same facade. They're very upset about it. That's what this is all about. And I'm, I'm picking more on like a karmic woman. This person is very upset. This person feels like they did something for this masculine to put them on a certain path in life. It's sort of like, oh, so now that you're doing well in life, you want to leave me. So I'm going to, I'm going to make your life a living hell, but no, you can't give to a person and think that they forever owe you if that person goes through a spiritual awakening or whatever, and they just don't want to be there. Somebody is not trying to hear that. Yeah, look, nightmare. This is a nightmare. Somebody's like, 
I never should have dealt with this person. That's how this masking feels. This was a huge mistake. Yeah, look, this mask is like, but you live and you learn. Wow. Somebody learned a really tough lesson. Third wheel. And then you have your blessing in real estate. Curse. Yeah. Somebody chose their enemy to share their blessings with, which was well, but it was cursed. The situation was cursed from the beginning. Yeah. This situation was completely cursed from the beginning. These individuals thought that because they were, like I said, bringing in money, that that was all it took. This person cut someone out of their life to go towards this other person that they created a life with. But this was a part of a life lesson. That's why this person is constantly thinking about this divine feminine because they know they've cursed themselves. They, this person went towards a, an enemy. Someone who was wearing a mask. I'm getting more than one. It's like somebody here has left a situation like this and they're now preparing themselves. They want to be with the divine feminine, but they're still very hurt because of the, the recent lesson that they've had to learn dealing with somebody. And then I'm seeing here where there is a masculine who. I feel like they're 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 forever cursed. Like they can't get out of this situation. But there is somebody or an ideal type of person that they would love to be with. But they know that they've gotten in so deep in a situation that they they just can't get out of it. Some of you you have a person they're always going to think about you because they're, they're bound. This person knows like they feel like a total failure. But if they were to even try to get out of a situation with whoever they're currently with. They know that their entire life would just be shattered. But this is definitely somebody who chose someone. For some of you, someone chose someone over you. For, there's others of you. You have a person, they're choosing you, but they've left a situation like this behind. Where they were tricked in some kind of way. They got out in time, but they still carry the baggage of their situation. So some of you, you're at a crossroads between two different people. But it seems like their, their situations as far as dealing with someone because of money is similar. There's two different masculines I'm picking up on. One is, is forever cursed and doomed. One got out of a situation, but they're still heartbroken about it. <laughs> so that's what I have. Um, I mean... One person will be able to pursue you in time, but you have a person here that's, look, someone here chose wealth and they miss you. Someone chose wealth. They're missing you. They wish that you were there. Somebody wishes that they, they would have built their life with you instead of the person that they chose most likely. Oh, look, what I say, I candy versus soul food. You got a donut and an apple. Someone had more than one choice. And they made a decision. They chose the donut and not the apple. They chose the eye candy and the money. They didn't choose their spiritual connection. They didn't choose the person that God sent them. They wanted, this is somebody who wanted something quickly. They didn't have the patience to wait on a divine being to build with that person. Yeah, now they're going through a dark night of the soul. And this person is in pain because they're, they're reflecting on old wounds. They're reflecting on how they lost someone who was very divine. Yeah, there was unconditional love. Somebody is sick about this. Yeah. And they would like to redeem themselves. This person wants, um, as they're going through the dark night of the soul and recognizing where they went wrong, now they're wondering if they could actually have forgiveness. For some of you, um, I just got this very clearly as well. Very, very different situation. I know we're talking, we tend to talk a lot about relationships. For some people, this could be an absent parent as well. I'm picking up on a father that is ashamed of what they've done. Somebody here um, picked another person or a family over 
sticking around with their family and their their child they walked out on you 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 know their son daughter or whatever this person now wishes that they could redeem themselves because when i see unconditional love i think about children you know there's that unconditional love somebody here is is facing the truth that they were not in their child's life the way that they should have been because they chose a, like a third party situation they chose to be build a life a family have kids with someone else or whatever the case may be i'm picking up on several different situations here and i mean that's just the the nostalgia thinking about the past the energies are coming up here people are sitting back and they're reflecting on where they went wrong i'm getting a father figure here that is in regret because they gave up a situation where there was unconditional love with their child to go and be you know in a situation with someone else and it didn't turn out the way that they wanted and now they carry that curse of knowing that you know, they sabotage their connection with their child. I'm also picking up here a masculine who, the same thing. A masculine chose something very superficial over being with a divine being because of what it looked like at the time. But as time has progressed now, someone is realizing that they, they curse themselves by choosing someone else instead of their actual divine counterpart. And then I'm also picking up a situation where someone is awakening. They're aware, um, but they could have gotten out of a situation with someone who was very superficial. But even though they got out of it, they still took a major loss. You know, whenever you lose your time and your energy, this just as bad, if not worse than losing money. Somebody realized that they lost money, time, effort, and energy because they trusted someone who was wearing a mask yeah a lot of people are thinking about past love past relationships nostalgia people could be looking through uh, just thinking about old times yep third party somebody chose a third party and now <laughs> look this card even says mercury retrograde somebody chose a third party could be an earth sign because they they have a family or somebody, like I said, someone went and created a family with, with a third party, with someone that they were they left a divine being to be with. And now they feel cursed. In whatever situation it is, yeah, there's a divine feminine out here. And somebody is overthinking. They're in a mental imprisonment about this divine feminine because they want a fresh start. They would love to be able to move forward, but they can't. Yeah, expect a call. This person wants you to open yourself up to them. But I feel Divine Feminine, this situation, it taught you a lot about your own self-worth. And it puts you on the path of your soul purpose. Now this person, they're cursed. And all they can do is watch you. They can only spy on you online. Somebody here could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We got water signs and earth signs heavily. But Spirit is saying now it's safe for you to love. You let go of whatever this situation is or you should forgive yourself and fully release. Because a lot of you now, you have proposals of business offers, marriage, commitment. There's other things coming in. You could have a Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius that wants to come in to your life now and and they're making plans to be loyal to you faithful committed and to have a family with you so we have earth air and water and something i keep talking about north nodes you guys make sure you know what your north node is i feel like your rising sign and your north node is very important right now as well as anyone that you're dealing with somebody could have and uh, air sign is like they're rising or north node. They could be like Libra rising or Libra north node. Um, they could have Aquarius highly aspected in their chart. But somebody is thinking about their future now. And it's saying here, you know, yeah, somebody's going to come in. They're really going to cherish you. 
Somebody is making plans to come towards you. And this does not have to be someone from your past. This could be someone in your life now or someone that you're about to meet. But this is going to be someone who's really thinking about the future. They're not coming in to play games because most likely they've already gone through a karmic situation just like you.